Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we're going to be doing the side quest Lady of Slaughter. Yamu's recreation of the battle between Sekhmet and Isfit is jeopardized by the absence of Sekhmet's fighter and it's up to Bayek to help. Menehet, misspelled Mehenet, they've done that a few times, is in trouble again. The festival's biggest event, a recreation of the battle between Sekhmet and Isfit, is in jeopardy as the fighter playing Sekhmet has gone missing. Bayek is enlisted to track him down. The rewards are 800 experience and a legendary outfit. The current objective is to find and bring Pamu to Minahet. So, when I logged back in, it put me back on this island. We need to fast travel back to the market. All right, we found him. This must be Pamu. Ugh. The man stinks of beer. Oh, thank you. I've been trying to get him to leave for hours. Some champion you guys picked here. Well, let's take the champion back to Minahet. This dude better not puke on me. I just bought this outfit. Well, nobody seems to think this is out of the ordinary. Like, eh, it's just Pamu again. Drunk, getting dragged around by some random dude. It's pretty hilarious to be dragging a passed out drunk dude through the temple. Menahet. That is Pamu. What has happened to him? His passion for toasting Sekhmet has exceeded his head for drink. This is a disaster. People have come from the Red Land and the Black to see him fight. If a fight is all that is needed, I could replace him. Of course, Magi. You honor yourself in saving me from disgrace. Speak to the High Priest in the Temple Courtyard. He will take care of the rest. Speak to the High Priest about replacing Pamu. Should be easy to replace. I can't imagine that guy is that great of a warrior. Can't even handle his drink. He's supposed to handle a sword. Or whatever the heck he uses. Your Holiness. I am here to fight for Sekhmet. You're not Pamu. He was meant to play Sekhmet. Pamu is... ill. He is recovering at the temple. Fine. Follow me. This is a friendly bout. You must stay vigilant. Do not fear. Sekhmet will receive a fine tribute. We give thanks for your presence on this sacred night. We Come, the crowd awaits. On the solemnity of our custom. We unveil to you a ritual that has guarded us for century upon century. Make every eye to look upon the warrior for whom the two skies open. Sekhmet, Lady of Slaughter. The light rises with Sekhmet and falls as she falls. Should malice cling too strongly to your hearts, Isfet, the evil one, shall smite the goddess. Ah! And 
condemn Yamu to a hundred seasons of darkness. But should your hearts be pure, the goddess shall favor us, shielding us from the obscurity of chaos. Let the battle begin! Since a time unknown, Sephmet the Lioness has shielded us from Isfet's greed. Isfet was once husband to Ma'at, goddess of all. May Sephmet protect us! Tampering with her scales of judgment, he grew fat on the souls of mortals. Ma'at cast him out of the Hall of Justice. Alright, I think the priest is just repeating himself now. So all I'm doing is leading with a strong attack to break his guard and then putting a few hits in him. And then he usually just does a regular attack, so I don't have to worry about dodging out. But every once in a while he'll charge up a big attack I need to dodge, like that one. I could also parry it if I wanted to be fancy. Let's parry one. Oh, well, that's not going to work. Oh, way too early. Oh, alright, I need to stop doing that because it's going to get me in trouble. Let me put on the overpower. Block that. Shield break. Bash him up a bit. Do the same. I could swear you were the Blood Eater herself. Ah. Oh, the priest's recounting of the battle between the goddess and Isfet was <laughs> new to me. It is a tale of his own invention. You will not hear it outside Yamu. Would that you'd agree to stay with us longer. But I know that greater duties call you. I'll say goodbye to the children before I leave. Do so. They'll miss you. You are always welcome in Yamu. Whenever your journeys bring you to our gnome. Quest completed. 800 experience. That is level 11, and I got the trophy, the festival. What outfit is this? Oh, never mind. That's the one I was wearing, wasn't it? Er, uh, no, that's different, isn't it? Hmm. No, okay. I don't know. It looked different to me for some reason. Uh, anyways, we got the uh, Sekhmet costume, if we want to wear that. A costume worn during the reenactment of the battle between Sekhmet and Isfit, held as part of Yamu's festival. So, I'm not a big fan of it, but here it is. If you wish to wear that, I think what I want to wear is that first outfit I had. The Desert Cobra. I like this one. Oh, yeah, that's where it's at. All right, what else did we uh, get? They left me the weapon, which is just the peasant's scepter. Uh, a robust stick wrapped in leather cords. Its flat head whistles through the air to jab at your enemies. Um, so it's only got a combo multiplier of two. Nothing too special. We're going to break this down. Okay, and then that's it. We do have two ability points now, so we can finally get 
Eagle Harass to have Sinu stun things passively and I can command it. And I believe that's it. Alright, so let's go do a few locations. The first one I'd like to do is right up here. So I need to get out of the temple first. Let's see, I guess we'll just go out this way. If I try to summon the horse here and then have it... Well, I can summon the horse and do it manually. If I try to do the automatic thing, it's it just gets super confused in here. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it'll be smarter. Hey, it actually worked. Last time I tried it, it did not work well. a lot of boats out there for nighttime. It seems like a bad idea. Some other player died. Maybe a croc? <laughs> and here we are. Our objective is to kill animal. And which one is it? Probably this one. Yep, there we go. You want some of this, huh? Ooh, that lunge attack is where it's at. Just lunge in and strike. Almost never misses. Yeah. Well, that was an easy kill. Vulture Lair completed. 150 experience. Looks like I got a bunch of vulture skulls. I think that's what those were. Yep. Once again, dropped way more than it should have. Uh, is there anything up here? I don't think there is, but let's check. Nope, just a nest. Down we go. Alright, let's do one more location. We're gonna go out on the water. Right there. And oh, look at that. We got a boat right there. New location discovered, Adexios Naftis Shipwreck. Oops, hey, I didn't want to go up there. Down. There we go. Alright, so there's two tre uh, treasures down here. Very easy to find, you can see both of them right there. First one got me some purple scepter and a blue axe. That location's done, got the experience, and I believe I picked up all of the other goodies. Yep, that's everything, so let's head back up to the top. So we got gear, some new weapons. We have a scalloped head axe, which uh, was the old one. This is the new one, the bronze axe. More suited for cutting down trees, but it'll protect you in a pinch. Scalloped head axe, you're going away. And then we have the bladed scepter. Combo multiplier of two, bleeding on hit, not bad. Uh, a thin steel blade adds a savage bite to this ferocious weapon. Get rid of the blue one. Okay, and I don't think I got any new trinkets, but maybe. 
We had the headrest before, I think. Yeah, none of that is new. Alright, we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.